Yeah, stop your feet like that. And let's clap together. That's it.
It's another Bible story. With Pastor G. And today, we're going over the story of John the Baptist. A long time ago, there was a faithful man named John the Baptist. He was a son of Elizabeth and Zechariah. And when he grew older, he became a prophet for God and started preaching his word, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. John's coming was actually foretold hundreds of years ago by the prophet Isaiah as he wrote down, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Isaiah 43. John was not the richest man at the time and actually lived outdoors while preaching God's words. He lived a humble life and often wore clothes made of camel hair and held it together with a leather belt. He ate locusts and honey while living outdoors. But even though he was not a rich man, people from all over the country would come to hear his words and get blessed by the words he would say. They also came to believe in God because of the words, and he would baptize them with water in the Jordan River. But one day, he said, I baptize you in the Jordan River with water, but there is a person who will come and who is more powerful than anyone else in the world. I will not even be worthy of carrying his shoes. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fill you with God's Spirit. Then the mysterious man named Jesus came to the Jordan River one day and approached John. Jesus asked John to baptize him. But John was shocked by such words and said, Don't you mean that you need to baptize me? I am not worthy to baptize you. Jesus then replied to John, Only by doing this now will we fulfill the prophecy. Please help me follow the Father's will by baptizing me. Then John decided to obey because Jesus had asked. When John baptized Jesus, heaven opened up and the Spirit of God descended upon Jesus like a dove and a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. This was another Bible story with Pastor G. And now, let us all pray together as we came to learn about John the Baptist today. Father, we thank you so much for the story of John the Baptist and how you showed us as an example that you humbled yourself when you were above John. John the Baptist even knew this, and he was willing to humble himself and let himself be baptized you baptized by you you asked him to baptize you because that was the father's will you did not do what you felt you did not do how you decided you should do but you follow the father's will and I pray Lord Jesus that as we continue to walk with you that you will help us follow your will instead of what we want to do and if there's ever a part of us that wants to do what we want to do, 
I pray, Lord Jesus, that we'll be able to put you first because you are above all things and you are the one that is deserving of all praise and following. I pray all of Jesus' name. Amen.